let us come back and solve your 2014 paper. So we have been doing all the numericals in all the papers. Let's come back and see this paper. Yes, in 2014 paper, yes, first they've given us the definition, then given us the numerical. As I said, every paper you'll be getting a numerical. So do practice the numericals properly. Done. So define the following terms. Molarity they've given me. So I've done already done this in video number five. Please check that. Next is molar elevation constant. So what is molar elevation constant? Nothing but your ebuloscopic constant that is KB. So in video number 26, I have clearly explained what is molar elevation constant, the ebuloscopic constant. Please watch the video. You'll have a clear understanding of the concept. This. Let us come back and solve this numerical. So what do they give me here? Uh, a solution containing 15 grams of urea. Okay, urea 15 grams. W2 is given to me and M2 also is given to me 60 grams. Okay, per liter of a solution. <laughs> Done. In what per liter of a solution in water has an osmotic pressure isotonic as solution of glucose. Okay, there are two solution systems. Okay, one, one uh, osmotic pressure that is of uh, glucose as well as osmotic pressure of urea. Both are equal systems. Done. Yes, and calculate the mass present in one liter of solution okay so there are, the concept is basically moving around your osmotic pressure so you have seen this word osmotic pressure here so immediately write the formula as i said formula also carries mark so the formula which we are going to use is pi is equal to crt further pi is equal to n by vrt so that this you'll be getting mark here after writing this now let us note the given data so in the given data given data what is uh, seen let us see uh, they've given a solution containing 15 grams of urea okay so <coughs> this n can be further uh, written as yeah the see pi is equal to it can be further written as w2 by m2 into 1 by v rt yes or no yes now there are two things one is for urea given data one is urea and the other one is glucose these two are present in the solution both are isotonic in nature what is isotonic isotonic in nature means iso means similar tonic isotonic is they have similar pressure rhythms both urea as well as glucose are isotonic that nothing but same pressure because we are speaking in terms of osmotic pressure now let us note the information they said w2 of this <coughs> urea is 15 grams what is the molar mass m2 given to me is 60 gram per mole let us write for glucose now glucose uh, how much is given uh, okay mass i have to find mass so let us write let us assume here let us take this as w1 so that i can take that as w2 m1 let us take this as w2 i have to find m2 of glucose given to me is m2 given to me is 80 gram per mole okay done simple nothing there's nothing much in this let's see now <coughs> i said both are isotonic in nature that means same pressure that means i can relate this formula of both i can make the osmotic pressure equal because they have said isotonic so how can i write this i can write this as pi is equal to n by v r t of which one is this this is for urea which is equal to pi Okay, there is a pi. I'm taking this common n by v r t of glucose. I'm making both equal because the osmotic pressures are equal. Yes, simple. Okay, I'm let me erase this and I'm going to do the numerical here. So now I have come to a concept where I said <coughs> I said uh, pi is equal to n by v r t equal to n by v r t this is for urea this is for glucose well, let us substitute the thing so what is n equal to n is equal to weight by molecular weight so what is the weight given to us w1 what is given 15 so 15 by 60 so 15 by 60 r t i'm not bothered about r t here because i have to find only weight which is equal to n I, again w2 by m2 there is no w2 by m2 so i have to just write w2 by m2 okay m2 is there done let us write 180 into this v also into v into v r t simple let's solve that so when i solve this particular thing what do i get 15 by 60 is 1 by 4 
1 by 4 V R T is equal to W2 by 180 into V R T. Okay. R T R T gets cancelled because we are just calculating the uh, masses. T and R T gone and V and uh, this in common I have to find W2. So W2 is equal to 1 by 4 into 180. So this goes 45 grams. So weight that's the reason W2 is equal to 45 grams. So this is 45 times right so this is the weight so you are going to write calculate the mass of glucose so you put it in a box and write mass of glucose present in present in 1 liter is equal to 45 grams that's it you're going to conclude your answer like that so simple thing is you have to remember isotonic solution is given that's why i'm equating after equating i substituted the values after substituting i calculated the weight